This video demonstrates the proper disassembly and reassembly process to be followed during LR125 maintenance. The specially engineered flow path, metal plug, and supported diaphragm design makes the LR125 highly resistant to damage and allows smooth performance under a wide range of process conditions. Maintenance of your LR125 should be conducted in accordance with your process conditions and maintenance guidelines. During reassembly, make sure to closely inspect the diaphragm, seating surface of the valve plug, orifice, and stem guide assembly. They can be damaged by upset conditions and high velocity solid particulates in the flow path. For disassembly and reassembly, you will need the combination wrenches listed and anti-seize lubricant. First, depressurize the system. If you have yet to do so, refer to the LR125 shutdown video for the proper depressurization steps. Unscrew the valve plug guide from the body. The valve plug assembly, including the spring and the valve plug, will normally drop out of the body with the valve plug guide. Inspect the neoprene or FKM valve plug seating surface. A damaged seating surface will have nicks, scratches, or dents, typically caused by upset conditions or severe service. Inspect the polished metal outer surface of the valve plug for deep scratches or dents. Replace if any damage is noted. Inspect the seating edge of the orifice for scratches or dents. Damage to either the soft seating surface or orifice will prevent the Type 95 from achieving proper lockup and can adversely impact performance. Replace if any damage is noted. Loosen the lock nut and turn the adjusting screw to remove all spring compression. Remove the diaphragm case cap screws and lift off the diaphragm case. Remove the upper spring seat, spring and lower spring seat. Remove the diaphragm and examine for damage. A damaged diaphragm will have tears, pinches, or blowouts on the diaphragm surface typically caused by upset conditions, high velocity, solid particulates, or long-term operation. Replace if damage is noted. Remove the stem guide assembly and inspect for scratches and dents. Replace if damage noted. With the diaphragm removed, check that the pressure registration hole is completely open and free of obstructions. For reassembly, begin by installing the stem assembly and the diaphragm. Lines on the diaphragm, if present, should face up toward the spring case. Install the lower seat, spring, and lubricate and install the upper seat. Install the diaphragm case and tighten all screws in an even crisscross pattern to prevent damaging the bonnet. Using a torque wrench, tighten to 10 to 13 foot pounds. Install the valve plug guide, including the valve plug spring and valve plug. Using a torque wrench, tighten to 70 to 90 foot pounds. Turn the adjusting screw to produce the desired outlet pressure. Tighten the lock nut to maintain the desired setting. Your LR125 is now ready for operation. Thank you for choosing Fisher Regulator Technologies. If you have any questions, contact your local Fisher representative or visit us online.